What up? What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Jess. Welcome back to another Madden 15 video. And today we have uh, some more news. Now I know this isn't CNN. I know this is a Madden Ultimate Team um, channel, but they just dropped so much content today, man. I just want to try my best to get it out to everybody as much as possible. Now uh, tomorrow they are releasing two Ultimate Legends that were confirmed as Dan Deerdorf and Mean Joe Green. As we scroll down, let's take a look. As part of Madden NFL 15's transition into hashtag Mutt Season, EA Sports is putting together the ultimate team of NFL Legends. Each, oh, wait, 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 we made a mistake. On Saturday, we are releasing three different player versions of each legend in two packs. Each version has interesting and sometimes wild attributes based off of speed, power, and position. Mutt players can take a unique element to their squad based on which version they use. Fans can unlock the ultimate legend by bringing together each version, a nickname, collectible only found in packs, a solo challenge, and a collectible earned uh, by beating the legend's team. So we scroll down below, and first thing we see is this amazing looking Mean Joe Green boss version, 24 hours only. Now this card looks incredible. 99 tackle, 83 finesse, 86 speed, which is pretty fast for a D tackle. 100 block shed, 95 play recognition, 97 pursuit, 100 power move, and 100 strength. Now, this card has amazing block shed. Now, who doesn't love block shed, right? Block shed is obviously you try to run by him, just quick disengagement, tackle, right? Who doesn't love that? And this is why you get cards like this to provide you, you know, make your job easier <laughs> to stop other um, people from running the ball or passing but most likely dts are mainly used to uh stuff um the run at least in my scheme you know like my d tackles rarely come in for sacks unless i do like an a gap and that doesn't happen too often maybe two three times a game but um that block shed power move and strength is absolutely insane this card definitely is the card that you want to have to battle with uh 99 uh webster who was definitely a monster of a uh, center and uh, I think them two battling will be a good job to see uh, or nice thing to see so um, we scroll down below um, this right here uh, the text is always for the picture below which is weird you figure the text would be above it but um, right here, Mean Joe Green Mean Joe Green was an anchor of the famed uh, steel curtain defense that led Steelers to four Super Bowl titles in 1970 here's his regular ultimate version that you can do by completing the set the 24 hour version is obviously only allowed in um, only in packs 97 tackle, 76 finesse, 80 speed, 98 block shed, 90 play rec, 94 pursuit, 99 power, and 99 strength. Now, the boss version is clearly better. Like, it is eons above the regular standard version. Now, boss Vic compared to regular Ultimate Legend Vic was so much, uh, there was like no difference. It was only plus one speed and plus one here and there. The boss version for Mean Joe Green is plus six speed six speed now the strength and power move and block shed being plus one doesn't really make that much of a difference in my opinion 98 block shed is damn near just as good as 100 um you know power move and strength being 99 almost as good as 100 but his play rec is added plus five on the boss version and plus seven finesse move and plus two tackling and plus three pursuit so, 95 play rec means Mean Joe Green is going to be hawking down screens. And that helps a lot. Whenever your defense lineman has that type of play rec, when they come down for a screen, they just stop chasing and they'll run after the running back. And that makes it a little easier um, to try and stop screens considering your defense has the awareness and play rec to do it themselves. And there's not too many players in the game that do special things like that. That's why guys like this are special. You know, so, um, damn, his ultimate legend... Like, his regular version just doesn't look nowhere near as good as boss version. Because, like I said, I look at the Vic boss version, because I have Vic, and they're like, not that much of a difference. I wouldn't pay three extra mil for that. That's that's crazy. Who would do that? But I would spend an extra, let's just say, let's throw a round number out there. Let's say Mean Joe, I know this is not going to go for that much, but let's just throw a number out there. Let's say Mean Joe Green regular goes for 400k. I would double that for plus six speed and plus five play run. Plus six speed is a that's that's he's a tight end at 86 speed like that's really good speed like that's so much faster and he's just going to make more plays chasing the backfield if he does get loose chasing quarterbacks and well now I wouldn't double the price let's say he goes for 900 I'm not paying 1.8 
forum, you know, for the boss version, but that boss version is so much better. Now let's take a look at his one that goes into sets. 96 overall, which is still technically the third best D-Tac in the game at 96. This right here would be the power edition. Green's power is boosted while other attributes are lowered. So you see his block shed is 99, strength and power move is 99. Speed 70, tackle 95, finesse and pursuit 75, except finesse that's 70. So right here we have the shed edition. Gr uh, green shedding is boosted while other attributes are lowered. So his block shed is 99, uh, play record is 99, pursuit's 99, power move 99, strength 99, but his tackle and finesse more are 79. Honestly, this version right here just looks incredible. He's just really, really slow. But other than that, you know, to have 99 block shed, 99 play rec, 99 pursuit, 99 power move and strength is amazing. He's just really, really slow. Shed edition was that one. So right here is the speed edition where he has 90 speed, which is crazy for a D tackle. 99 pursuit and 75 across the board. Everything else except 70 finesse. So that's what you need for him. Um, his nickname collectible can only be found in packs. Green's Mean Joe player nickname can be found in packs. So that's that'll be his nickname collectible. And then we have 99 Ultimate Legend Deerdorf. Now there's only one boss version per group, so he does not have a boss version. This is just his regular. Um, his regular ultimate legend version now I actually have my xbox on let's go on ahead and uh look at who my right tackle is now who is the highest right tackle until tomorrow until uh this video comes out so we are going to go to right tackle and that is sebastian bomer so um Deardorf has 75 Agility, <laughs> 90. I was looking at it because I was like, wait, it, that, that obviously seems for agility. Why would agility be there? I don't know. 99 run block, 98 plus, plus pass block. Vomer has 98 pass block, so that's the same. But his run block is 90, and uh, Deardorf says 99. 99 strength for Deardorf with 72 speed. Um, impact block is 97. 90 acceleration and 90 awareness. I wish they showed. Um, actually, they do. Yeah, I was. Uh, I wish they showed the speed, but they do right there in the middle. So um, he's so much better than Sebastian Vollmer. It's not even funny. So here's his uh, pieces that go in. Here's his pancake edition, uh, which has uh, 99 impact block, 99 strength, 99 acceleration, and 99 run block. And then you have his power edition: 99 strength, 99 impact, 99 run block, low pass block. And here is his speed edition with 90 speed, uh, 95 acceleration, 90 agility, and 75 is across the board after that. So those are the two new guys coming out tomorrow. Um, I think that if I get both, I'm a 99 overall. I think so. Because D-Tackle right now is Aaron Donald. He's my number one D-Tackle at 97. So I'll be plus two from 97 to 99. But the big boost would be uh, Deardorf. That would put me from a 95 to a 99. That's plus four. And I think that that would make me a 99 overall. Uh, we will see. I'm going to try to get both of these cards day one. Uh, we'll see if we can make that happen. That's the end of the video, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Um, really looking forward to getting both of these cards. I will be live streaming 24 hours tomorrow. So um, come join me and see if we can get these bastards. Love each and every single one of you guys, man. It's your boy, Jess. We're going to go ahead and sign out. Peace.